So just on the back of a video I just made saying that I don't think there is any other major updates coming for Red Dead Online this year. Rockstar just dropped a newswire and finally confirmed what we've all said and been saying for the last at least a year to not two years. Um, there's a lot here about GTA Online, which, you know, you can... I'll leave a link in the description if you actually want to go and read about GTA Online. But mainly what we're concerned here would be about the um, Red Dead Online community and what Rockstar plans for Red Dead Online. I'm actually kind of surprised they finally addressed it, but at this point, like, the community's having a funeral for the game, so you might as well. They say we would like to also thank the Red Dead Online community for their continued support and dedication. Uh, yeah. So over the past few years, we have been steadily moving towards uh, development resources towards the next entry of Grand Theft Auto series, understanding more than ever the need to exceed players' expectations and for the next entry to be the best it can possibly be. And as a result, we are in the process of making some changes to how we support Red Dead Online. They're not in the process of making changes. As in, like, these changes have been made six months ago. So this is not in the process. Like, as in, well, I suppose we're halfway through the year. They're kind of telling us what's going to come for the rest of the year. They go on to say, firstly, uh, with both new and experienced players engaging in wealth of activities, already added to the massively rich world, including specialist roles, story-based cooperative missions, cooperative uh, showdown modes, and much more, we will continue to showcase these unique additions uh, through Red Dead Online monthly events as we move forward, so players of all levels can enjoy the vast frontier. Look, this is what I've been saying all year. This is kind of what I expected to happen. Um, in the video I literally put up two hours ago, this is pretty much what I called. Um, I did say I had a little bit of hope, and I still have that little bit of hope, um, but... Like, this is playing out like I thought it would play out. So it goes alongside, well, actually, to be fair, alongside seasonal special events and experience improvements, plus other changes to enhance and maintain a healthy Red Dead Online environment, we plan to build upon existing modes and add new telegrams missions this year rather than de delivering major team content updates like previous years. So basically, no DLC is going to come, really this year they go on to say and we will continue to highlight and share the creative efforts of the red dead red dead online community at every opportunity via the news wire and beyond um well look that's that's a lie they'll do it every month and well actually no i suppose they do post every now and again on twitter for red dead online um but that's about it other than that, they plan to build on existing modes. Like maybe there might be a few small improvements and new telegram missions, but we might get another three telegram missions. Like it's very, very minor stuff that they have planned. And when they say alongside seasonal special events, they could just like be reusing the content they've already used. It doesn't say any kind of new content, really, to be honest. So like bringing back the Halloween pass or maybe a combination of some items from each of the Halloween passes and bring back some of the uh, Christmas um, festive stuff, like the Christmas call to arms and stuff. Like, I'm, I've, my expectations are quite low. Anyway. They say, once again, we'd like to thank the community for their continued support. We are truly grateful for all the constructive feedback we've received up to this point. Uh, you keep it coming. This direct feedback from players have been instrumental in ongoing success of GTA Online and Red Dead Online. Okay, come on, like, the ongoing success of Red Dead Online? That's a bit cheap, isn't it? As in, maybe if you'd listen to the community, Red Dead Online would be more of a success instead of adding stuff that nobody wanted. Uh, anyway, they say it's an integral element of what helps us continue to evolve and improve as we push ahead towards the future. Yeah, continue to evolve and improve GT Online, but it looks like Red Dead Online, at least for the end of the year, is pretty much kind of done. So some Telegram missions, no major DLCs, um, pretty much what I was saying in the other video. Like, I did not expect any major DLCs to be coming this year at all. 
I think my other video still stands and I think that little bit of hope I have which is based on the possibility of a next gen version coming out which I don't see coming out anytime soon um, maybe late 2023 or something um, then maybe possibly maybe GT Online will get a second run but it would look like this is basically what we see at the moment um, with how Rockstar is handling Red Dead Online. That is how it will be handled going forward. There will be a community month uh, event each month. Uh, and there will be possibly some reused um, seasonal stuff as well. Alongside some extra missions from time to time. And that seems to be it. It is finally nice that Rockstar has at least confirmed what their plans are. Even though obviously a lot of people might not be happy about it. And if you're curious to know why I have hope, uh, a little bit of hope left for if they were to add a next gen version for Red Dead Redemption 2 and why I think they will probably add a next gen version for Red Dead Redemption 2, I strongly suggest that you check out my other video that went up literally, I think, two hours before this one. It's a sad bit of news, obviously, for a lot of us. Um, but look, here it is. I still enjoy playing Red Dead Online. I still plan to do some events um, with Red Dead Online for some of the members and some of the subscribers. So the game is still not dead for me, but it doesn't look like we're going to be getting any meaningful content, at least for the year and probably going forward for the, the remainder of Red Dead Online's life cycle. It's a shame, and I'm pretty sure anyone watching this video would agree with me. It's a crying shame and a complete waste of the potential of Red Dead Online. There was so much potential there that they could have used. And I genuinely think it's a cop-out to say that they're going to focus on GTA Online. They're a big company. I mean, believe it or not, a company can have two successful IPs. You don't. You can hire people. You know, you don't have to focus all of your eggs. You, know, you don't have to put all of your eggs in the one basket. They could easily make Red Dead Online profitable. Maybe not as profitable profitable as GTA Online, but like as long as it's profitable, you can still do it. And there are plenty of developers out there that would kill, kill for the audience that Red Dead Online has, and they would kill for the the community that Red Dead Online has. So I genuinely, I think, I think it's a cop out. I think it's mismanaged, and I think it's a complete waste of potential and a disservice for the IP, which is Red Dead Redemption. Again, I would urge you to kind of watch my video where I talk about like why I think uh, a next gen version of Red Dead Redemption 2 could possibly give Red Dead Online a new lease of life. But um, I'll leave the video here uh, if you would like to check that out next. Uh, massive thanks as always to the members and you're the guys that keep this channel going. So I really do appreciate it. Wish it was better news people, but here it is.